Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. So I've got the, uh, what do you call this? The Bradle. So I'm going to take it down to the shop. We need to spread some lime. I was looking at the map here. And, yeah. We need to lime all around this field and this entire field. So what I'm probably going to do is do this little bit. We also need to do this uh, part that we plowed out over here on 20 and 20. So... Let's get to it. I'm going to take this down to the shop, though. I want to expand the capacity on it. Right now, I think I've got the, the smallest capacity. And lime eats through fast. So we need, some, uh, we need some more capacity on this thing. I would almost upgrade it to, a, to the bigger one. You know, matter of fact, I wonder how much I would get for this. Curious and curious. Let's see. Ooh, I, hey, I got some pellets down here. Need to come get. So if I sold this back, I get thirty-four thousand seven ninety-nine for it, and I bought it for. Where is it at here? Thirty-nine. So that's not bad. Um. This one just has a greater capacity on it, and I've got a bigger tractor now to pull it. Plus, I don't have the upgrades on this one yet, so I think I'm just gonna, I may just sell it back. If I repair it, I don't get any money for it. Uh, I'll repair it for four dollars. Yeah, it only gave me four more dollars. Um, I'm just gonna sell it, and I'll get the bigger one. We'll buy the bigger one. And I want to expand this uh, to its biggest capacity, which would be 1895. We want to do the narrow wheels if we can. Oh, we cannot do the narrow wheels. Oh, maybe that's the difference. This one, you have to have the big wheels. Hmm. Wide tires are standard. Well, I guess we'll go with standard. Makes me wonder if should I kept the other one. Because you know the narrow tires was really a big part of... Uh, well I guess we could spray if we absolutely had to if the crop was too high. So we'll put uh, the expansion on there. Um, is there any benefit to having wide tires? I don't think there's any benefit to having wide tires. $2,000 more. We'll go with that. Alright. We can always get another one later. Another smaller one. Now this tractor, like I said, it should pull it. You know, I also want to do something else. I also want to get another cedar. Let me go ahead and buy a cedar. This is the one we have. This is the Agrimaz. It's very, very small. Three meters. I'm kind of looking at the horse. Uh, just because of the land that we have now. The bigger ones like this, I don't know about that. Maybe an Amazon condor at some point. But, I don't know. That's kind of expensive for a cedar. I think the horse would be enough for what we have for right now. So we will go, I think, with that. I've worked with it plenty of times before. And I'll bring the uh, the agro miles back down here. We're spending our government stimulus. <laughs> we don't need to. We need to try to save it if we can. Because we are definitely going to be doing some uh, terraforming. All right, let's go get some lime. Drive over the medium. So there's some places that you can terraform and some places that you can't. I'm learning this. So 
We might not be able to do entirely what we want to do, but hopefully we can. We'll try and see. We will make every effort. Smoothing is good. Smoothing can uh, really help. I would, I mean, if, if smoothing was the only feature that we had, I would take smoothing over everything else. Because smoothing makes it to where you can at least plow over it or run over it with a tractor or cedar or something. We will get into that very soon. Very, very, very soon. Well, I wonder if before I lime that, should I go ahead and do that up there? Maybe try it out? Or should I just go ahead and lime it? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and lime it. Come on, get in there. We have the capacity. I'm trying to get all of this in there. Should be able to get it all in there. So yeah, you can see our plow job over here. Get it turned around. Pick up the lime and the coconut. in there. I thought it was filling. I was looking at my other monitor, my other screen, my other computer, computer, my other computer that uh, has this recording on it. Oh yeah, I think we can fit almost all that in here. Pretty close. One little pallet left by its lonesome. There, well, that was supposed to automatically close and I think I hit the button because I'm used to Farming Simulator 17. So now let's see, where all do I need to do this? Let's zoom in here. Everything in the teal needs lime. So basically just kind of around the edges here maybe at first. Or maybe I should just do the whole thing. I think if I do the whole thing, it kind of puts it all in sync. So we're going to try it and see. Put that powdered sugar down. I think I'm just going to do the whole thing. But you can see how fast it eats through it. Look at the number down there. It is just plummeting. So that inside that green circle, I don't need it. Well, no, I said I was going to do the whole thing anyway. So I'll just do the whole thing anyway. It's working. Kind of got like a snow texture to it. I like the white. I like the uh, the powdered sugar. Wouldn't it be something if they come up with like a Candyland farming simulator version? That would be weird. You know, they, they came out, you know, they had a April's Fool's joke uh, about uh, a Commodore 64 version, and then they actually came out with a Commodore 64 version of farming simulator. So, what if, just what if they came out with, like, a Candyland version at Christmas time? They could do that next year, um, where, you know, the map is like, okay, so you got powdered sugar or something, and then you would cut down candy canes as trees, and um, you could harvest, uh, what, well, we already have marshmallows, so we're good there. Uh, you could harvest... Uh, I don't know, chocolate chips as oats or something and or you know, oatmeal cookies or something, you know, something just, you know, kind of something to go along with it. I'd have to think about, you know, what kind of coincides maybe with that a little bit, but I don't know. And that goes back to me being hungry all the time, so uh, you know. I love to eat. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I'm not kidding. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this whole thing. So you can see we've got we've used about uh, probably two, maybe almost a third now. 
Probably a fourth. We've used about a fourth of it. Getting close to a third. So we may use this entire tank on this field. Just go ahead and lime that. Although it's not letting me lime that grass, is it? Or is it? Maybe it is. It doesn't need it, so it might not let me. Get this little blip here that I missed. <clears throat> is it doing it in, in, in there? Well, it doesn't say that it needs it, but I think if we go ahead and do it, then it won't need it later. Don't want to lose a percentage of our crop just for that very reason, you know. Whoa, that kind of swung around on me. I'll just do the whole thing. Yeah, we've used over half of it now, so it's really going down. Gotta love this big tractor, though. It's pulling all these implements right up this hill, no problem. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on across here. Oh, it did it where I ran over the grass. That's interesting. Maybe I drove through there and it, it left the lime down. Hmm. I have no idea where I've been, so I'm just going to put it on right in here. I think I can keep this wide swath. Yeah. So we're about out of lime. We're going to need some more by the time we get done, I think, here. little bit wonder if there's a way to set up hotkeys in the Elgato software because that's what I use to record wonder if I can set up a hotkey to turn my mic on and off Alright, so we've got this entire field limed now. It should not need any more lime. I'll tell you what, I'm going to run down to the store and get some more. Some more what? No, 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 no. Do you want a s'more? How can I have some more if I haven't had anything? Killing me, Smalls! One of my favorite movies. Uh, where do these spawn at? Right here? Alright. Here. These are only 450 a bag, so I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Alright. Let's see where we're at. Oh, good lord. Huh. <laughs> You know what? We'll use it. Whether it be now or later. I probably I guarantee we'll probably have to come back for some more. It uses a lot of lime on the fields. And start at this end. Alright, 
Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Buttercup, come on, get in there. You know, I kind of want to buy something else too, and I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and do it now. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Let me let me make a little bit more room for it, just in case there's not enough room for it to spawn up here. Fill this thing on up. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and buy this, because we're going to need this. Uh, it's going to be a necessity. Where is it at, though? What would it be under? I think I need to go this way. It's under forestry equipment. It's this Flygel trailer right here. It's only $28,000. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, don't buy it, don't buy it. Oh, oh, you bought it. You don't have a semi-truck. Well, we don't really need a semi-truck. A semi-truck would be nice, but I don't want to spend the money on one at this time. So what I'm going to do is put a dolly under it and pull it with my big tractor. Uh, I'll keep the standard wheels on it. How much does it cost to put it that wide? No, I'll just keep the standard on it. Okay. Alright, so it spawned over there and the dolly's right there. So we'll come back. We got to start working on our trees. Uh, especially down there on the end of field 20. So that way we can get that land kind of smoothed and leveled out if we can and extend that field a little bit. I guess I'm just going to have to work around the. Um, what do you call that? I would call it a deer stand. But it may just be like a tree stand. So, tell you what, let's do field uh, 20 here. Wrap things up with field 20. I'm surprised that hadn't loaded in there yet. Where is it at? Yeah, there's the tree stand right there. And I don't think I can get rid of that, so I guess we'll just have to work around it, maybe, somehow. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to do something. We might not be able to level that out, but we might be able just to smooth it out, you know? Farm around it, plant around it, and farm around it. Or just go up to that point, maybe. I don't know. They put too many buildings on. I don't think I can sell it. Don't, yeah, like I said, I don't think I can sell it. Is that a placeable in the shop, maybe? Maybe I can. That'd be nice if I could sell that. Let's see. Shop, placeables, decoration. Well, it's not in there. You can put a sandcastle up. Uh, I don't think that would be under anything else. Silos. Nope. Farmhouses. Miscellaneous? Nope, it's not even under miscellaneous. So, I'm going to say that we can't get rid of this tree stand. I don't think I can cut it down. No. It is purely decorative, so if we do anything with that, there's a lot of sharp points out here, and 
think I'm pretty sure we can grind the stumps out. I don't think that'll be a problem. But we may just have to smooth this out or something out here. Just to uh, just to make it farmable. If it's possible. It might not even be possible. But we're gonna try it and see. If anything, we could turn it into a grass area, maybe, like a grass mobile grass field. Um, or what we could do is plow it out up to uh, the top part of 19 here and when we purchase that we'll have we'll be able to combine these together smooth this out cut these trees smooth all this out maybe bring it down a little lower lower it down a little bit and smooth it out I think we might be able to do that because if I'm not mistaken I think I see a little shed over here at the top of 19 yeah there's like a building over here yeah some type of little shed thing a little wood shed is what it is and we can't get rid of that so we have to work around that too so we might be able to turn this into a, a grass field like up here just a little like a little bitty grass field that we can mow and maybe get a few bales off of do some silage bales and then connect it right here so that might be a good plan all right let me get back to the liming liming is that a word to the limes yeah liming sounds more accurate maybe all right so i'm going to continue liming and um, i'm going to lime uh, i gotta lime all that over there on the hill so uh, we're going to go through some lime here but we've got our forest trailer, we got our new cedar, uh, I'm going to take the agromaz back down there and um, sell it back. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is plant grass over there on the east side of the base of the mountain and then crop over on the west side. And then we'll get into logging I think at some point, so we'll see what we can... Uh, definitely see what we can get into. It's getting kind of late in the day here at Felsburn, so we may have to go to a new morning, to a brand new day. Alright, we'll just sign off from there. Until next time, guys. Remember, you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.